Hey, Couture Bays, it's your girl, Brooke Brack, on Live with the Breeze Hawk. And baby, we have to discuss Armand Wiggins. Now, before we get into that, let's like, comment, and subscribe. Tap that notification bell so you can get all the updates and alerts. And remember, opinions are not facts. When I tell y'all I'm not doing this for clout, I'm doing this simply because my subby sent me Armand's most recent video saying homophobic black women. Now, before we get into this, I'm gonna tell y'all right now, we might not agree. I hope we can have an adult conversation down below in the comment section because there was a lot to unpack. So let me first by start saying, before any of you try to make up some drama, because this is not a drama channel, I do not have an issue with Armand Wiggins. I don't feel no type of way about Armand. I wish him nothing but the best and the most success. That being said, I think Armand is very talented. I feel, I feel Armand could be up there with the impressive channels and stuff like that because he has a certain appeal and a, and a likeness to him, but his mouth gets in the way. And what am I discussing? For those who did not see the video, I will be pinning it down below in the comments so you can check it out for yourself. The entire video, I was waiting for Armand to have some accountability. He didn't have any. He didn't have accountability. He used triggering words that heterosexual black men use to bash black women. Um, I told y'all before, white supremacy is an institution. It's not simply white or black. And he used white supremacy tactics to prove his point. And for those who haven't seen the video, I would suggest you watch it first, then come back and watch this video. Once again, I have no issues with Armand. I feel he's very talented. I feel he can go the limits, but his mouth gets in the way. Here's why. Armand did a reaction video to Kaya's um, gag order. She said on her own channel and her platform, she would be flagging videos for those who use her content and make money off her content. She said that. Now, if our mom was gonna do a reaction video, he should have not monetized the video. You can tell when someone's monetizing the video by the ads, um, et cetera, et cetera. There's just ways to tell when someone's using your stuff. Hence why a lot of YouTubers take off the download button because people will steal their content. Now, Armand's video had way more views than Kaya's because he was like having a whole kiki and whatnot. Here's the problem. She struck his video and instead of him owning it, he got upset. Now for those who are like, what does striking the video mean? For those who saw the J.R. Smith video I did when he beat up that little kid who was breaking his stuff, my video got struck due to TMZ. Um, if you do not ask permission or if they feel it's a certain level of violence, whatever, whatever, they will either privatize your video, strike your video, or you'll have to fight for it. Now, if they prove that you pretty much stole content, which is copyright infringement, they will strike your YouTube channel, which means you will lose your channel and you can lose the fact that you're making money. Being that this is Armand's bread and butter, he felt some type of way because she didn't, for whatever reason, strike other YouTubers like Lovely T, etc., etc. Now, I don't know the capacity of which they did it, but he was really upset. And we knew those who are in the content creator sphere knew he was upset because he then went on to post her her bio for the first album and was just talking crazy right fast forward to now it's homophobic black women the video so i believe he's lacking accountability i feel he's lashing out i don't know if armand is anti-black woman but he seems to always play in that space of anti-black woman. Here's why. He brought up Tasha K. He brought up Millie from Mob Radio. He brought up Kaya. And he said people don't hold them accountable. And then he proceeded to berate people who don't agree with him or who have a difference of opinion by calling them hoes and, and you allow these niggas to talk to y'all that way. And I told y'all, 
You can tell how somebody feels about you when they're upset by the things that they say. I have been dealing with the psychological effects of people and working in spaces like that. So I pick up on the clues, the triggers, and how someone really feels by the things they say when they're either mad, drunk, sad, etc. When they're having an emotional um, episode. I'll leave it like that. Armand, baby, you don't know how to read the room. I can tell your entire platform is made up and comprised of majority black women and the LGBTQ community. Here's my issue. You were just a fan of Kaya's when she was dragging T.S. Madison to the pits of hell. And then you proceed to say, well, everybody on this channel can get it. Yeah, but you hold a certain disdain for black women. Anytime it's about... I mean, we saw the antics with Mob Radio. We saw the antics with Kaya. We saw the antics with Tasha K. You can't tell me this man isn't anti-black, but those are my personal opinions. I will never tell anybody on the, on this platform not to follow him or unsubscribe because they can follow whoever the hell they want to. Whoever they find entertaining, it is what it is. My issue with Armand is he makes business personal and business is business. Business is business. That's why so many people hate it. Because in the business motto, there's no emotion. You should be emotional and passionate about your goals and things you want to manifest. But when it comes to these dollars and these cents, take the emotion out of it. You have to take it out. Okay, your video got struck. He could have been like, dang, I don't agree and here's why and left it at that. He's went on a whole tirade to the point where he deleted or, or hid all his other videos just to do this one. Now, there's some women who are not going to agree because they cape for black men and it is what it is. But as a content creator, the things you say and the things you do, you have to stand in it and, and let it settle. Stand in it and let it settle. The people who are for you will understand and the people who get it will still be there. I don't get why he had to call his subscribers uh, bitter ass hoes and bitches and, and say, y'all get mad when I talk to y'all like this, but y'all men talk to y'all like this. And y'all and y'all come to my comments all the time when I tell y'all this is how black men feel about black women. This is why imagery is so important. This is why there's certain things we have to do are so important. This is why we have to be on code and stand together. I'm not telling you to unsubscribe. I'm just telling you, this is how he truly feels. He's pissed. I, I don't get that. You know, my mama always said, Babies, drunks, and emotional fools will always tell you your place in life. Um, and that's all I have to say about that. Hopefully he can get past this because this ain't it. This isn't the move. Like I said, I don't follow him, but I never want to see anybody lose out on money because they're emotionally invested in the wrong place. If y'all understand what I mean, do y'all agree? Do y'all feel our mom was just venting? Do you feel that should have been something a part of his private chats? Do you feel like he was in the right? I mean, comment down below. I, quite frankly, I wouldn't have done it, but that's just me. That's just me. My bottom line is the money, okay? The bottom line is the money. And if someone tells you they're up here just to be up here, they're lying, okay? They're lying, and that's coming from the marketing major. But either way it goes, comment down below, and I got to go. Bye, hoes.